Maybe you are asking what else you can you can do when uh, you are here in, in the hacienda, in the farm. So in Paute, that's our canton, you can you can do a lot of interesting things like from some watch uh, handcrafts and do some trekking things. So I would like to 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 do a checklist from the places that you can go in Paute and near to Paute. We call here in Ecuador parishes. So there are small communities around the big thing that is Paute, can, the canton. Uh, the first place I would like to, to share is the, the Hillhead Dog. Here in, in, in Paute we have very strange names, so <laughs> maybe <laughs> this is a very strange. Hillhead Dog. So you can do some trekking different different levels of, of trekking you can do some parapente you can you can you can do some parapente it, paragliding 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 you can you can do some uh, climbing rocks so it's very interesting for people that likes and also you can you can you can go and just for a, for a overview of the of the area I make some some trekking, but the people loves loves to make extreme sport. I think Hillhead Dog is a good place. Paute is famous because the weather and and the fruits also. So you can you can visit uh, here in Paute some fruit orchards. Um, in Paute, Cachillaco, Bulan, and Tambillo. That, those places you can you can find that orchard sweet orchards. The last place I would like to, to share in here in Paute. You can go also to in Sevilla de Oro and there's a lot of uh, waterfalls so the landscapes there are very very nice. So, so let's talk about the parishes. The parishes um, I have we have San Cristobal yeah, in San Cristobal you you will see the house floating viewpoint. That's very interesting. You will you will see some handicraft uh, with toquilla, with paja toquilla over there in San Cristobal. Another parish is Chicán. Uh, in Chicán uh, you can you can see viewpoint of Maras. That's that's a interesting place to to visit. Uh, you have Bulan. Bulan is very nice. Also, you have some handcraft uh, with wood. There's some people there that make some handcraft of wood. That are are very very nice. Uh, then we have Dug Dug. Yeah, that's another parish uh, near to Paute. <clears throat> there you have the viewpoint of Nunurco. It's very nice. I, I know that that place it's very very nice. So you can go to the viewpoint of Nunurco. Uh, also you can do para paragliding. You can do some fishing. You can see some rodeo in certain dates of the year because they have the the parties of the of the parish. So normally in that dates you can you can see uh, something like rodeo. But during the, the year you can do this this paragliding, fishing, some agro-tourism also and some horseback riding. Mm -hmm. In another part is Tomebamba. In Tomebamba uh, you can go to an in, in overview some the Mazar, uh, Mazar Reservoir. That's a very important project here in, in our country because they gives a lot the give the electricity it's the main the main project in from the Ecuador not only from the province so it's, it's a, a, a nice place to to go and see the how big it is and the landscape the mountains also is very nice there also you can in Tomebamba you can go to the Cerro Yanacocha so sum up a little bit here in the parishes you there's a lot of places to go and walk 
and see and be with the nature and the landscapes, the sound of the of the birds. That's the and also you can see the, the handcrafts and all that all that kind of things. So the last the last the parish is what I know. There's some uh, names uh, with a mixture of, of Quichua and the, 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 the language of the Cañares. Remember that we here in, in Pati, we're a mixture of that. Mixture of languages, mixture of, of customs. Or, so, Guaraynag is the, another parish. And there you have the viewpoint of Parrot Peak Hill. So, as I say, you, you have a lot of things to to go and see the nature in a very good, uh, with an interesting altitude, to see the the landscapes. And there you can also find some crafts in Toquilla. You can you can see some colonial houses there, the style. Uh, and that will be the most important of each of each uh, parishes. For our guest, we, we would like to, to, to give all the facilities to, to make these experiences complete. So, for example, to, to visit all that parishes that, that you already know, and visit um, the handcrafts of Toquilla, the wood, the wood crafts in Bulan, we would like to, to help you and, and arrange your transportation to that place. Because we, we understand that normally you come and you don't you don't have your licenses you don't you, you don't know the, the place so we would like to, to help you and and arrange your transportation. Great. I would like to 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 say come to the hacienda come to the farm come to Paute there's a lot of things that you will discover and and, and as I say at the beginning you will feel the, the magic of these lands because the, the Cañaris, because the Incas, because you, in, today you, you can also, also see the people, the dresses, the women, and so I will invite you that you can visit Paute, visit our hacienda to enjoy all that magical thing that we, we, we want to share with, with you. So the invitation is open. Mm -hmm.